Hi everyone. Welcome to the third part of Challenging Themes in Topography. The topic that we are going to discuss today is measuring distances and area calculation. Distance on map is measured with the help of map scale, which means we should be familiar with terms like map scale, meaning of direct and indirect distances, meaning of an area, a grid square, etc. Let's try to recollect map scale. We have already learned this many times. In symbol, map scale is the ratio between distances on map to their corresponding distance on the ground. Let's take an example. Here, this shows two places on a map. Imagine they are 5 centimeters apart on the map. And in reality, they are 5 kilometers away from each other. Now, we can see a relationship between the distances means 5 cm distance on the map is equal to 5 km on the ground which tells us that 1 cm distance on the map is equal to 1 km on the ground. So this ratio of map distance to the ground distance is simply called as map scale. All the maps are prepared on certain map scale and uh, for the maps that we are going to use, the map scale is 1 is to 50,000. There are two set of maps that we will be getting for the board, either of them. Both maps are in the same map scale. They are in 1 is to 50,000. Which means, 1 centimeter distance on the map is equal to 500 meter or 0.5 kilometers on the ground. Otherwise, we can say 2 centimeter distance on our map is equal to 1 kilometer distance on the ground. So this is about map scale and the scale of the map that we are going to use. Now let's take an example to calculate direct distance. Imagine there are two points on a map like this. One is a yellow dot, other one is a red dot. Two places. And as I told you, the scale of the map that we are going to use is 1 cm on the map equal to 0.5 km on the ground. Now, once we have these information, how do we calculate direct distance between these two points? Things are very simple. Direct distance means distance in a straight line along any two points. The first task is to find out the distance from one dot to the other dot in centimeters. This is done with the help of a ruler. Place a ruler generally like this and measure the distance between the dots. Here in this case, the distance between the points is 12 centimeter. This is what is called map distance. Now, in order to calculate the actual distance or the ground distance, there is a very simple formula. Actual distance is equal to the map distance into the map scale. We have the map scale that is 1 centimeter to 0.5 kilometer. We got the map distance that is 12 centimeter. So, here is the formula. It's very simple. Substitute the values. That means actual distance is equal to 12 into 0.5. 12 is the map distance which we got now using the ruler. 0.5 is the map scale. And the answer that we are going to get is 6. So the meaning is that the actual distance or the direct distance between these two dots in real life is 6 kilometers. This is how we calculate direct distance. Let's take another example with the help of a map. Here in this map extract, we have two heights, a triangulated height and a spot heights. Let's try to find out the distance between these two points. So as I told you earlier, first step is to place a ruler and measure the distance between these two dots. Let's say the distance between these two dots are 4 centimeters. Now the formula to calculate actual distance is map distance into map scale, which means the map distance 4 centimeter into the map scale 0.5. So the answer will be 2 kilometers. Multiplying a number using 0.5 is equal to dividing it with 2. This is to simplify the calculation. So instead of multiplying a number with a 0.5, find the distance on the map in centimeters using the ruler and take half of the distance. Change the unit to kilometers. For the map scale of 1 is 50,000 which we are using, this method also is apt and it will give us the answers in a much simpler manner. Example. 
if the map distance between two points is 28 centimeters then the actual distance will be half of it that is 14 and change the unit to kilometers because the ground distance are in kilometers now measuring indirect distances measuring indirect distance means calculating the distance between two points not in a straight line suppose there are two places and it is connected using a road road may not be straight all the time so what is the distance between two places along the road so that is an indirect distance so calculating such distances which are not in a straight line comes under indirect distances here we have an example and in this example we can see a pink line and it's 14 so the question here is what is the length of the national highway the national highway is not in a straight line it is an irregular line or a curved line so how do we find out the length of the road that's a question for this purpose the council will be providing a twine to calculate the length there will be a 20 centimeter long twine provided along with the question paper place the twine along the length of the road like this then take this time to a ruler and see what is the length of the twine so that length is equal to map distance first you are placing the twine or the thread on the map as required by the question then taking that twine or the thread to a normal ruler and you find the distance or the length of the twine so that will give you the map distance say for example the map distance is 6.2 which means the distance from one end to the other end of the thread is 6.2 centimeters map scale remains the same it is 1 is 50,000 so our formula is also the same thing 6.2 centimeters into the uh, map scale which means 6.25 into 0.5 otherwise as I told you take the map length divided by 2 and change the unit so here the map length or the map distance is 6.2 centimeters therefore the length of the national highway given in the map extract will be half of it which is 3.1 kilometers so calculation part is very easy only thing that we have to do carefully is measuring the distance from one point to the other point that has to be done properly without making any mistake once if you get that map distance divided by 2 change the unit to kilometers let's take one more example for calculating indirect distance here we have two points two settlements what is the length of the car tract connecting Badarpura and Moki Batamal? So we have these two villages, one on the top right side and another one at the bottom left. So question is, what is the length of the car track connecting these two places? So we have to locate the car track. First task is to find the end points of these two car tracks. So these are the two end points. Alright, here the points are visible clearly. Therefore, we can actually find the endpoint. In some cases, this track might be extending through the village. So in that case, it is always better to take from the center of the settlement to the center of the next settlement. So that is how we choose the endpoints. Now, next task is very simple. Place the twine or the thread along the cart track as we did in the previous question. Then everything is same. Find out that distance using a roller. Then apply the formula. Apply the formula means take half of that length, change the unit to kilometers, that will be the answer. I am not doing it here, hope you can do that. Let's go to the next topic, calculation of area. Area calculation is done with the help of Eastings and Northings. So let's try to understand the distance between nearby Eastings and Northings on a topographical map. Here we have a small map extract. The distance between two nearby Eastings is always 2 cm on the map. 2 cm on the map is equal to 1 km on the ground. We know that. Which means distance between two nearby Eastings on the map is always, sorry, on the ground is always 1 km. Similarly, distance between two Northings is also 2 cm on the map and therefore it is 1 km on the ground. So when we take one grid square, in reality, that much area will be a rectangle sorry a square of one kilometer length and one kilometer width that means each grid square represents an area of one square kilometer in reality so area of one grid square is one kilometer square now 
the question that we get in board exam is like this what is the area in kilometers i mean square kilometers of the region between 06 and 09 eastings 22 and 27 northing so there are two eastings and two northings the question is to find the area of the total area coming under or coming within these two eastings and northings so to do this we don't really need the map we only need those grid squares or the eastings and northings so here we have those two eastings which are mentioned in the question 06 and 09 easting is there 22 and 27 northing is also there which means this whole region need to be taken into the consideration now we know that area of one single grid square is one kilometer square on ground now simplest method is to count the total number of grid squares there are 15 grid squares within this region each grid square is of 1 km square in area therefore the total area is 15 square kilometers this is very simple we can do or uh, we can find the answers in this method there are now let's take another example what is the area of the region between eastings 49 and 54 and northings 93 and 97 so just like in the previous question here also we don't need a map we know that there are two eastings and two northings which means they are forming a rectangle area of a rectangle is equal to its length into its breadth we need to know the length as well as the breadth easting is 49 and 54 north thing is 93 and 97 we already know that the distance between two nearby easting is one kilometer and two nearby north thing is also one kilometer so we can easily find the distance between 49 and 54 93 and 97 so the length is 5 kilometers 49 to 54 so there are five eastings in between that means five kilometers the distance between 94 sorry 49 and 54 similarly the width of this rectangular region is four kilometers it is 93 to 97 so once we have the length and breadth we can go for calculating the area very simply so the area of this region which is enclosed between 49 and 54 easting and north thing 93 and 97 is 20 square kilometers now let's take one more example what is the area of the region enclosed between eastings 78 and 86 and northings 11 and 78 so we don't need the rectangle also we don't need the graphics also we just need these numbers what we need to find out is the length of the rectangular area and the width and the width of the rectangular area the length of the rectangular area means difference between two eastings and width of the rectangular area means difference between the northings so the length will be 8 kilometers because these things are 86 and 78 and the width will be 6 kilometers once if we have the width and the length area of the region enclosed between these two given eastings and northings will be 48 square kilometers so this is how we do area calculation only area of rectangular or square regions will be asked in the board exam so things are very simple uh, it's very easy to do these kind of questions I hope it is helpful. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.